<gasps> oh, hello. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have fins instead of feet? To swim through the waves with all of your fishy friends? <laughs> Why don't you come swimming with me? And I'll show you just how much fun it can be here next on Tickling Dragon Theater with the Little Mermaid. you like my eyes today? <laughs> I went for a yellow kind of tone to mirror my friend Flu. He's a fish. See? <laughs> we just love playing hide and seek together. Bye. Bright is the water, light is the foam. Under the wave is a mermaiden's home. You know, it was Hans Christian Andersen who said, where words fail, music speaks. And I think he was absolutely right. Hello, my happily ever after listeners. My name is Nada, and I'm a mermaid. What was that? Oh, who was Hans Christian Andersen? Well, Mr. Andersen was a storyteller. He wrote lots of things, books, travelogues, poems, but he's most remembered for his fairy tales. He was the original author of our tale, The Little Mermaid, published back in 1837, 180 years ago. The Little Mermaid has been one of the most popular stories told in our time, adapted time and again in books, movies, stage productions. <laughs> People really like mermaids. But fascination with mermaids goes back many, many years. Some mermaid legends are nearly 4,000 years old, told by sailors who are said to have heard their songs on the high seas. <laughs> but I suppose one of their very first mermaids would have been the Greek god Triton, the god and messenger of the oceans, who just happens to be my father, so the story says. My grandmother has always been the one to tell me stories and legends, and my favorites are always the ones about mortal humans. Every year, another one of my sisters turns 15, which means they're old enough to make their own journey up to the surface and watch the humans themselves. For years, I waited for them to come back home and tell me all about what they saw, and I dreamt and waited and wished for the day when I could go myself. Well, the day finally arrived. I had turned 15, and I wasted no time at all to go to the world above and see the humans with my own eyes. And who should be the very first mortal that I saw? But my prince, whom I've loved for years. So handsome, such kind eyes. And then there was that awful storm. All of those poor souls lost at sea. And though my sister Denea warned me not to interfere, I, I couldn't just swim away. I had to dive in after the prince and save him. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do to just leave him on the shore like that. But I swore to myself that one day I would find a way to get a human form and win my prince's heart. I suppose you know the rest. My deal with the sea witch, how painful it was to walk on two feet like sharp knives cutting them with every step, ouch. And how I couldn't tell the prince of my love because I gave my voice to the sea witch. And the prince had already fallen in love with somebody else. My grandmother and sister Denea were so very sad for me. They even went to the sea witch themselves to try and help me return home as a mermaid. And even though I knew I couldn't be with the prince I loved, even though I could return home as a mermaid, I would much rather turn to sea foam on the water than hurt my prince. <laughs> so, with all of my might, I threw the magic dagger into the sea. Do you remember what happened next? The most wonderful, the most magical thing of all? I wasn't turned into sea foam. Instead, I was greeted by the daughters of the air and told that I had won my very own soul. I even had my voice back. <laughs> they say that sometimes you don't always get what you want. 
But in the end, the universe gives you what you need. I might not have gotten everything I'd ever wanted. I didn't get the prince of my dreams to love me. But I did get my very own soul, something I had wanted ever since learning about it. Have you ever wished for something so hard that it almost hurt? If you could be anything in the world, do anything, what would it be? And dream as big as you possibly can. Would you be an explorer? You could discover new parts of the ocean or chart the stars in the sky. Maybe you want to sing like a mermaid or dance. How about being a writer like Hans Christian Andersen and share stories and tales with people all over the world? Sometimes we don't always find what we want in our own little worlds. My sisters lived happily beneath the waves, swimming amongst the sea creatures and coral reefs. But I always knew that if I traveled to the world above, I would find something more. And that's just what you can do. You can travel and see other worlds too. But not just traveling in a car or in a plane. You can travel in books, pictures, movies, even in stories that you hear from other people you may meet. My grandmother and sisters told me stories of the human world long before I could see it for myself. Have one of your family members ever seen something new or exciting? Ask them all about it. Where did you go? What did you see? How did you feel when you were there? Come up with new questions, even ones that seem a little odd, like, what did it smell like? <laughs> I thought the human world smelled bright. I had never noticed how salty the sea smelled until I was on two feet. <laughs> and there was a very sweet smell in the air from, I think you call them flowers? <sighs> it was all so wonderful. You have a beautiful world around you just waiting to be explored and learned about. So, tell me all about your ambitions. All the things you dream about and wish for. I want to hear every single one. Share with all of us behind the curtain. Just write it all down below this video. What do you want to be able to do? What do you want to see? Who do you want to meet? There's no such thing as too big or small. As long as you're willing to dream and work hard to achieve those dreams. Oh, just don't go to any sea witch, okay? <laughs> and you know who loves coloring, right? Mermaids. <laughs> and we've got all of the colors of the ocean at our disposal. Here's one of mine. Oh, I just loved coloring the fish. I have a few friends that look like that. Remember to share your coloring page too on your favorite social channels. We can't wait to see them. Oh, I really loved our time together, telling you about being a mermaid under the waves. And I can't wait to learn all about what humans dream of. Until next time, Nada. And remember, be who you are, and you will go star far. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>